What's up everybody, Spark here bringing you 20 new glitches in Super Mario Maker 2. Let's go. Glitch number one, notice how I can't get on top of these clouds. I'm not in a duct form and I can't really do a duct form like a duck jump off of this bouncer unless I do a long jump here, hit the wall and hold jump. For some reason he'll be ducked and you can actually get up there and move on with the level. Glitch number two, we can use this on off block right here to clip us through that sideways spring. Just do a duck jump as you run towards it. Clip. Glitch number three, these blocks explode on this beetle, it'll flip over and land on this corner. When I jump on it, it's going to hit the wall and then just stop for some reason. Glitch number four, this flying bomb phases through these blocks a little bit. With the shelmet, you can hit the bomb and have it clip all the way through these red blocks and land safely on the clouds. Just like that, notice how high it gets. Now, if there is a blaster right here, it'll instead clip over to the right and land safely over here. There we go. Glitch number five. I jump on this blue skull platform. It's going to travel to the right. When these pals reach this little platform right here, they are going to squish together and clip me through the semi-solid. Like so. Glitch number six. I'm going to use the A button to move Toad around and place him in the exact center of these two blocks. You're going to notice these big lava bubbles fall down because of the thwomp. And when they come back up, they will not damage me, which means the hitboxes are very strange. If I move at all, I get hit. Glitch number seven, two things with this. Number one, if I am Toad in single player mode and I run at this ax, it will kill me like that. If I wanna get that ax, I have to actually walk into it like this. There we go. So you can get the ax as long as you're not running. In co-op mode, no, multiplayer versus, if I run to the ax, I should die and the ax should land, yep. So I die, the axe gets hit anyways, and I get stuck on the wall. Glitch number eight, this is a hyper vibrating boozer setup. Look at him vibe, it's like he's dancing at a club. Glitch number nine, using this setup, the big muncher inside of this note block right here is going to be merged with whatever item or enemy you put on top of this note block. Check this out. So it'll just merge it right there. Nice. Hmm. Glitch number 10, you're gonna see this dry bone shell just kind of lift up towards the note blocks and nothing really happens it just rests on it unless we cape flick it then it will start to continually hit note blocks glitz number 11 using this dry bone i can get toad stuck in this little gap right here on the other side of this one way but if i get a power up it will shoot me to the other side of it clip me through the one way a glitch number 12, Burner pushes this launcher over to the left a little bit, which introduces two interesting things. Number one, this spring right here will depress down a little bit, but it won't actually do anything, and it doesn't always even collapse. Sometimes it does. Now, if I go up close to this launcher over here with the one way, it will do a mass ducking scenario. Glitch number 13, this clown car is going to go off screen, almost off screen. I'm going to use this boot right here. Throw toad into the boot now i'm on the right side of this one way which sets me on the uh, right above this block that i can slam down on and when i go into the clown car i can actually go through these one ways glitch number 14 this is an interesting little setup in which you cannot actually grab this shell if you're hanging off however if you do an edge jump you can grab this shell so i'm going to run from over here and jump at the very last second and i will be able to grab that shell and uh, use it apparently or something like that i don't know Glitch number 15, I'm going to go into this door. It's gonna poop me out into this middle clown car right here and that's going to shove me right through the bumpers. Bumper clipping with clown cars. Whee! Right through. Glitch number 16, I'm going to place Toad right in the middle here between these two springs and I'm gonna start the scene. So right here, we should be soft locked pretty much, but if I hold one of the directions, it'll actually poop me to one side or the other. So check this out. It takes a little bit of going, but Yep, I get thrown right through the one way. Glitch number 17, I'm gonna place Toad right here in this little gap. The big mush is gonna fall on me and when it does, I'm actually gonna get this checkpoint and simultaneously hit this spike. Check this out. It's gonna come down, I get the checkpoint, I get hit by the spike. Interesting how it actually clips us a little bit through these one ways. Glitch number 18, when I go into this door and exit this one, I will actually hit these note blocks. So this door must put Big Mush Mario between these note blocks where you can actually jump up. If you fail the jump, you'll fall down like this and you could get soft locked or this could be a cool Big Mush check where you have to be Big Mush in order to jump over that and proceed with the level. Number 19, this is useless toad dancing. So I'm gonna place toad right here 
and let's see him uselessly dance. There's not much we can really do with this other than having maybe an anti soft lock situation, but it happens within each three of these. And you have to be careful too, because if you press the wrong buttons, you'll actually soft lock in these on off blocks. This one's a little bit more finicky, but it works just the same. Glitch number 20, when we stick Toad in this little gap right here, he's not actually going to run, at least continually, on this dash block until this block right here, the spike block, turns into an actual spike block, actually has its spikes out. So notice how Toad is just kind of standing there. When that turns into a spike block, he will start running. Why? Thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.